Hi everyone! I really wanted to do the jump into the frame type of thing for this video and actually I'm literally jumping on here because I was just about to record the voiceover for this video and I realized that I am starting to go into a little pattern here where I am hiding behind the camera. The voiceover feels obviously much safer, I don't feel so exposed and I can possibly, I guess, say things that are a little bit more personal in a more open way. On the other hand, this is something that I am working on and that is being seen more and being seen in an authentic way. And um, this video is a lot about being authentic, about being experimental with everything, not just with my art also with different ways to become more open and um, I am doing this because it is something that helps me expand as a, as a person and obviously it's also because I want to be closer to you guys. I don't want to be just a voice behind a camera or just you know a name behind some artwork. I want to be the person that is exposed and being authentic is an important thing for me. So welcome to another video. It's going to be a pretty long one. There's going to be a bit of experimenting with some new materials like gelatos for example. A bit of a flop there but hopefully you'll see how I ma make it work um, eventually. There's going to be also quite a few uh, scenes from my walks because I want to be outside a lot. I live in this very small flat and sometimes it can get a little bit claustrophobic and I need to be outside more. So when I am in nature I feel more like me. I feel like the person or the being, the inner child, the soul, whatever you want to call it, the energy that resides in this body becomes in a way activated. Otherwise it's kind of dormant, it wants to do things but there are a lot of things that stop it from, from expressing itself and art is such an amazing way to express that energy, to, to let that being be what it wants to be. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this video and you will hear me talk later on and I wish you a lovely journey alongside me. Okay everyone, so before I actually tell you what is behind the concept of um, this painting, I'm taking you through the process of basically creating a background for my mixed media painting and um, I am using some flowers that I pressed myself a while ago and um, this is what they look like now. They've turned out alright, they're quite dry and um, I'm going to be using this really lovely thick paper to glue them on. I have no idea what they will look like once they are glued on or when I am actually going to paint over them. I am no expert in using um, floral elements in mixed media by any means, but I love trying out new things and this is an idea I've had for a while. I just didn't really have the time and energy to implement it, but since it works really well for a video. I just thought, okay, it's going to be a longer project, but I really want to do it. So you see me gluing the flowers onto the paper using Mod Podge. I really love Mod Podge because you can use it to seal things, to glue things on. It's a really versatile product and it lasts forever. Welcome back everybody, here I am 
sketching my face onto the paper. I made a decision to basically not use the flowers as a background but to use them as the hair of this character. So here I am sketching the face onto the paper and at this point I am thinking to myself this is going to be a lovely experiment but as things progress and you will see later on you never know what can happen. So basically I am sketching away and at some point I will be using ink. So one of the things I wanted to talk to you about today is authenticity and I think being authentic is also being vulnerable. So here I am trying gelatos on top of this really thick paper that hasn't been gessoed. So the problem with gelatos as I learned later on is that they need to be on a smooth surface and this paper was quite thick and it was not smooth at all it had these little bumps so what happened the gelatos being quite thick they ended up just kind of sitting on top of the paper like a layer and then when i tried to use the water and um, blend everything in using my finger the ink pen i had used earlier <laughs> literally smudged all over the place so at this point because i am talking about authenticity i could have stopped i could have stopped and not show you how i'm messing up but yes we are all scared of messing up but what happened i messed up so what i carried on i used my acrylic paints to cover up the mess that i had made myself and literally the whole process continued and I feel that I made the right decision. Now of course sometimes we may be inclined to say okay maybe the best decision would have been to stick with the original plan and use the flowers as a background but then I really wanted to kind of go with the flow and this going with the flow is also part of being authentic because I want to try out new things and I want to look um, vulnerable without worrying um, that I will you know look bad or mess up especially in these videos I don't want to project an image of perfection or um, I don't want anyone to think that this is such an easy thing to do um, it's a video sped eight times and um, the whole process took me a few good hours. It doesn't um, mean it was easy just because I was able to edit it and um, make it look like I'm really, you know, just playing around.
Okay, so here I am finally using gelatos on top of um, my um, acrylic paints and um, nothing terrible is happening at the moment. You have seen um, lots of things have happened in the meantime and um, here I am back um, with you talking about flowers. So why flowers? So, um, I used to be that kind of person who really loved having fresh flowers but I always felt that it was such an I don't know like a sign of being a bit indulgent because flowers obviously die at some point and um, why would you do this why would you even get flowers that are going to die but I think they um, keep within this symbol the idea of something that is beautiful um, and which also has within it um, an expiring date. I know this is a little bit of a sad topic in itself, but I feel that we all need to think about beauty as something that is not necessarily forever. So this is why I make these videos, because I want to capture this moment where beauty, the beauty of nature, the beauty of colors, the beauty of uh, an experiment that even if it contains a bit of um, failure within it, it also contains something that can resemble success. So I'm trying to say something here and um, I hope it comes out right. It's basically the idea that no matter what you feel that is not necessarily something that you should indulge in. Maybe you actually should, you should give it a go because it's something that your soul wants. My soul really wanted to see beautiful flowers and um, I just did it. I hope you enjoyed this journey with me and you'll join me for the next one. Mm -hmm.